Hi everyone, it's Milani and welcome back to our weekly Friday chit chat video. So before we talk about things, are we liking the new lighting? The, the lighting right here. So my boyfriend was filming in here the other day and he added, he brought in the blue light just so it was in super pink and it just looked like content. It just looked like cotton candy and it just looked so good. So I told him I wanted to steal the idea. And I wanted to change up the lighting a little bit here and there. I still absolutely love pink, but you know, it's it's always nice to switch it up. So let me you guys let me know. Wow, I can't. Let me know what you guys think about the blue cotton candy vibe that we have going on. I'm not gonna do it in every single video. Obviously, you know, I wanna start switching it up for you guys, but I'm really liking it. So hopefully you guys will like it too. And what was I going to say? Okay, so last Friday, I told you guys I was having some issues with my primer or maybe it was the eyeshadow palette. I wasn't really sure. So I told you that Anastasia had her primer for 100 point perk at Sephora. I went to Sephora I swatched the primer on the back of my hand. I waited until it just kind of dried down and set, and then I kind of just globbed a bunch of eyeshadow all over it because I really wanted to see, you know, I just wanted to see how it was going to perform, and it looked really, really good. So I used 300 points and I got three little sample ish sizes and I did already try it out I filmed a video for you guys so that will be up next week but I have thoughts I have opinions on it and yes I I bought I picked up kind of buy I picked up three and we'll just leave it to that I'll let you guys wait for the video so you can know exactly how I feel and what I think about it and yeah so I also saw that Morphe is launching a whole entire pastel palette. Honestly, it looks so dreamy. Pastels are just, it's, oh, it's so beautiful. As long as the shadows are done right, pastel is absolutely 100% a vibe. So I think it's only $25, which is really, it's really affordable because the palette's pretty decent size. If you guys have Morphe palettes or you're familiar with Morphe, their palettes are a decently sized, but I am going to, I'm one of those people where I need to go in and see a palette in person. I need to swatch it. I need to know that this is something that I'm going to use, make use of, and just, I don't want to waste my money. I just don't, I just don't want to waste my money. So speaking of new launches, how many of us have already gotten our hands on the Amrizi Anastasia palette? Honestly, it looks so pretty, like so, so pretty. I, you guys know, I love pink. I love glitter. I love sparkle. I love, I love any and everything in that realm. And this palette is, is speaking to me. I'm going to take my time though. I know everyone is posting it and that's all you're seeing online. I like to take my time when purchasing palettes. I'm going to be really honest and I'm gonna be very, very picky this year when it comes to buying certain products. I wanna use up a lot of things that I already have and I don't wanna waste my money. I wanna make sure that the things that I'm buying, I'm going to make use of. I can get a bunch of videos out for you guys. It's something that I'm gonna wear on and off camera. It's, I'm gonna be very picky, but, but, but when we get it, I'm going to turn the camera on. We're going to do our first impressions. We are going to do tutorials. We are going to do looks. It, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Speaking on first impressions, you guys saw that I did, I got my Flawless Beauty products in the mail. I did my whole unboxing for you guys. I haven't gotten a chance to testing it out yet, but it's happening. It's, hopefully it's going to happen this weekend. Hopefully that's, yeah. We're gonna, I'm gonna do my best to try it out because I really wanna try it out and then try it out a couple of times and then I'll let you guys know what I really think about it. I just feel like it's one of those things that I don't know how to use certain, well, two of the four devices. I've never used anything close to it. So I wanna make sure that my first impressions is not really necessarily gonna be a first impression. It's probably gonna be like my third impression because I wanna test it out. I wanna make sure I'm doing it right. 
and then I can let you guys know what I truly honestly think about it. So speaking of a weekend, we have an event Saturday. That's we have an event tomorrow, so I am absolutely 100% bringing you guys along with me. I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. I really enjoy filming them and putting them together and you know, all of that good stuff. It, it does take a lot longer than putting together my makeup videos, but I really do like it. It's just, I don't know, it just makes me happy. What makes me happier is doing my little little teasers that I post on Instagram. I've just really, really been enjoying the whole Instagram little teasers. And, you know, I'm trying to be more active on social media across the board. So please make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm trying to post a lot more pictures, a lot more videos. I want to start doing some IGTVs and doing lives and doing pretty much just a bunch for you guys and just really, really trying to, you know, stay focused on everything and just do a lot of things that I've been wanting to do. So please make sure you're following me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. I, I need to probably start on TikTok. 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 I should probably try using TikTok because it took such a long time. It was such a pain to get a set up and I don't know. I posted a video on there and no one was seeing it. So I ended up just deleting everything, but I'll have everything in my description bar for you guys but like I said I'll have it on the screen as well so it's a lot easier for you to find I don't know what's easier is it easier if I put it on the screen or if I put it down below I'll do both so the last thing I want to talk about is showing you guys some stuff that I picked up from Marshalls I haven't really been to Marshalls in a while to be honest I'm not trying to buy tons of makeup I'm trying to use up like I said a lot of things that I already have but sometimes I like going in and I like seeing what there is and you know and they had the Anastasia Riviera palette and the Alyssa Edwards palette I think the Alyssa Edwards was 24 no I think that one was $20 and the Riviera was $24 I did not get those but they had a little section where there was clearance did you guys know that like like clearance clearance so I picked up two palettes. This one is the Color Bash Cosmetics Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. So before I tell you the price, this is what it looks like. It was $3. This was $3. And it just, it looked really nice. And for $3, I wasn't gonna complain. I wasn't gonna complain. There was also this guy right here, also. Dollars. There is one, <laughs> there is one shadow right here where a little chunk is missing and I saw someone swatch this so I'm going to sanitize the palette but everything else looks untouched. I'm just going to sanitize everything just you know for obvious reasons. I'm going to do that with this one also even though this one the seal is still in here but I saw this palette a while ago. This is the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. I've heard a lot of really, really good things about this. I wanted to get it. I was planning on getting it. And I don't know. I just kind of, I don't know. I just decided against it. I was like, no, I'll just, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. But for $3, I'm not going to complain. I decided to get it and I'm really excited. But if you go to Marshalls, there is an area where they have so much abused makeup, so many palettes that are just completely demolished and destroyed. And it's, it's, it's shameful. I'm gonna actually insert some clips or some pictures on the screen so you guys can see how ridiculous this is. There was actually a palette, I'll try to put it up here right now, but there was a palette where it was, I think it's $2 and you opened it there was nothing in it. So pretty much it was just $2 for a mirror. Yeah. It was just, it's very sad, but yeah, it needs to do better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye.